public choice approach to public administration came into existence in 1960s almost coinciding with the new public administration essentially a critic of bureaucratic model of government the public choice approach deals with the possibility of institutional pluralism in the provision of public goods and services plurality of the governments and public agency is supported on the ground of consumer preference vincent ostrom one of the chief protagonist of the public choice school sets a concept of democratic administration alongside the conventional idea of bureaucratic administration in his book the intellectual crisis in american public administration ostrom writes bureaucratic structure are necessary but not sufficient structure for productive and responsive public service economy public choice is the economic theory of politics being the application of the economics to the study of politics includes public administration this definition establishes the interdisciplinary nature of political science and public administration this entry into politics is a bold advancement of part of economics there are areas where economics and political forces inevitably interact and these are natural fascination to economics the scholars who played a leading role in development of public choice theory are dukan black anthony downs kenneth arrow dames butchin gordon tucklock william ricker and m olson public choice theory is principally the contribution of economists the public choice theory challenges the traditionally established public interest theory of democratic government the public interest theory assumes that decision making in the government is motivated by unselfish benevolence by elected representatives or full timing government employee in the other word the public interest theory portrays the public servants are motivated by a desire to maximize society's welfare this view is repudiated by public choice theory the public choice theory takes a dim view of career bureaucracy dubbing it as inefficient and unresponsive this is because a public choice theory argues bureaucracy is not a subject to market force choice implies competition public choice theory introduces competition in public administration in a bid to make it more efficient and responsive a simple example of application of public choice theory in public administration is given here before 1990s indian airlines enjoyed monopoly rights in running air services in india under liberalization competition in running of air travel was introduced as a result a traveler may choose indian airline jet airways or sahara airline these airline as a result compete with each other and seek to provide better services and facilities to the passenger the lesson drawn is that competition improves standards of services public choice is the advocate of institutional pluralism in the provision of public goods and services existence of multiplicity of 
public agencies give individual the necessary choice an individual knows his self interest and would maximize this in his choosing an application of public choice theory in public administration is explained in what follows an individual must be given choice for buying a car in other words the market should have multiple brands of car and individuals choice should be determined by taxation mechanism some cars consume less oil causes less pollution some consumes more he enjoys the freedom to buy limousine but the price of such limousine would be more as he must pay more for air pollution and consume more oil by taxation mechanism we deal with the energy crisis and pollution problem the money thus mop up can be utilized for researches in developing alternative to conventional sources of energy and in in combating pollution problems the more pollution and petrol the higher tax individual thus enjoys freedom to make their choices but they should be prepared to pay higher prices thus the general citizenry does not have to share their burden caused by some specially inclined individuals